Here I am walking on Kingswell Avenue in Hollywood, Vermont and Kingswell. And the reason I'm here is because these little businesses along the street and look north on Vermont, go down Kingswell. These storefronts, this is where Disney Brothers opened their first, their first little studio that they rented space. And you see it's marked with Mickey there. There's other store next to it. So I took a walk down here, shot some video and some stills so I could do a little bit about the Disney first studio. You see they've got little stuff in the window. There's stuff inside the store, little articles about Walt and Roy and this space and other parts of the uh, Disney empire. There's a wall of clippings, newspaper clippings and whatnot. So it was a really great space to come and visit here in Hollywood. So here's the backstory as to how I came to go up to, to the old Disney first studio rental space they had on Kingswell Avenue. This magazine, Funny World, used to come out every once in a while. It's all about animation and comic art. It was created by Mike Barrier, and he's an animation and comic historian. And this issue dealt with um, development art for Disney's Black Cauldron movie. And as I went through the magazine, I came upon this article. It said, Disney before Burbank, Kingswell and Hyperion Studios. And I remembered that, and it's got pictures of Disney and Roy with their wives in front of the storefront that they rented space for their first L.A. animation studio. And on this page, there's a picture of Bub Iwerks, Ham Hamilton, and Walt in front of the storefront. This is a planned view of the space that they rented to turn into the cartoon studio. And this is basically what I took pictures of and video of. When I was up in that neighborhood, I was looking for a hamburger stand. And I had to cross a street that said Kingswell Avenue. And I thought to myself, well, that, that street name sounds very familiar. And I took a right turn, walked down the street, and there was this storefront with decal picture stuff of Mickey Mouse. And I realized, wait, that's the article I read in Funny World. This is the address of Walt and Roy's first rental, rented studio space in Los Angeles, in Hollywood. And I took pictures of it and video of it and thought I'd share it with you guys. This would be a place to mark on your map of places to go see when you're in Los Angeles if you are a Disney animation fan. Kingswell Avenue, just off of Vermont in Hollywood. So for me, it was a really great thing to see it and know that they started out in Roy and Walt's uncle's garage down the street and then they got enough money to rent space at this place which was I believe um, a real estate agent and they took at first I guess the back and then they rented the entire store and that's where they were doing their Alice cartoons is here on Kingswell Avenue that's how they started out you start out in the garage and you work your way up to running studio space and get whatever you can for a cheap amount and that's how you uh, that's how you start your little studio you always start small and then graduate to some bigger place so there is the beginning of the article this is when they moved to Hyperion I think they they put down money and had this Hyperion studio built for them and this is the plans for the early Hyperion studio. And there's photographs of it from across the street, which I think it's a supermarket now. And on this side is uh, Trader Joe's. And I guess this is the sound stage in Hyperion where they were recording an orchestra. And then this article is about the Screen Gems Cartoon Studio by 
which was owned by Charles Mintz and some of the guys in the studio. And then an article about George Griffin, independent animator. I saw his films when I was in art school. And then reviews of uh, Watership Down and Bakshi's Lord of the Rings. And an article written by Mark Kausler about the animation for Lord of the Rings. Some books about Mickey and Donald, hardcover big books. And then on the back was a big ad for big animation studio in New York, Phil Kimmelman and Associates. Looks like it's drawn by Roland B. Wilson. Anyway, that's that's how I got to uh, see the early Disney studio on Kingswell Avenue is because of this magazine by um, Michael Barrier. So we'll do some drawings of Disney characters next time. Keep drawing.